Are you saying you know where Mr. Vickers is? Are you saying you could make it worth my while if I do? I need to take this. Don't you go anywhere. Uh-uh. not enough to keep your mouth shut? You promised Dorian you wouldn't tell anyone she and Vickers are here. I didn't even drink today. Look, Morris, I know we're in a repression right now, and David Vickers is a major scammer, and Dorian is... What are you, Roxy? What are you, Mr. Goody Two Paws? Is money all that matters? What about loyalty? What about your word? I'll give you a word. Shut up. Excuse me. Oh, hi. hi there. I wasn't talking to you. I was, uh, I was just talking to um, myself. Hmm. Well, I am offering this as a finder's fee to anybody who can track down David Vickers. Well, I guess I'm your girl. I know exactly where Mr. Vickers is. Mm -hmm. Jessie would never, ever hurt her children. Even when Tess was in control, she was a good mother. No, no, Mom, you weren't there. Tess was way too busy with her plans for Jared and me to spend any time with Bree. She dumped her at Todd's house and then went off by herself to have Chloe at the cottage. Okay. <clears throat> in any case, Jessie will not be alone with the children tonight. Lois will be here. And I want you to be with me at the ball. I want you to put on a gorgeous dress and walk into that room with your very handsome fiance and enjoy yourself. I really want to share this with you. Please. I think we need to take him home and have a little talk. No, it's okay. I like to have an answer now. OMG. What is that about? Looks like Buchanan's getting busted by his parents again. <laughs> Only dude I know who gets in trouble for doing nothing. Nor Nora, bro, listen to me. Matthew is... is okay, you know what? Fine. I did. I smoked the weed in front of the house today. So what are you gonna do? Arrest me? What happened? <laughs> what, uh... You ever had a kid give you the raspberry with a mouthful of spaghetti sauce? <laughs> mm. So, uh, you get Natalie to agree to go tonight? Yeah, yeah, I put that fire out. Mm. Charlie, hmm. <clears throat> there's another fire burning, a major one, and it is out of control. Dorian. Oh, yeah. Her behavior was so strange earlier. I smell a great big fat rat. And I'm convinced she's gonna sink those pointy little teeth of hers into David. Do you think you could make that cash? Oh, I don't have time for these games. Oh no, hey, listen, that's okay. I'll take a check. So, where is David Vickers? Well, you're not gonna believe this, but David Vickers is right- Viva Calhoun! Oh. Hey, I didn't know you two know each other. <laughs> Don't tell me that you have forgotten the night we spent together on St. Blaze's, though we <laughs> both did have more than our share of champagne. No, I haven't forgotten. Uh, you leave quite an impression, ma'am. Oh, still on your quest to find the missing Buchanan heir? I told you that in confidence. And why are you here? Well, I have reason to believe that David Vickers is back in Landview. And I have reason to believe that you're right. Are you guys going to the Go Red Ball tonight? No. Yes. Chief of Staff got a table. He wants us to go. <gasps> this is great. We can all hang out. It'll be so much better than last year, watching Rex and Adriana all night. Well, a lot sure has happened since then. I'm sorry, Marcy. I didn't mean to sound all excited and happy. No, I want you to be happy. Really, you should be happy. I'm happy, but... You're happy. I'm happy that things are working out for you and Rex, really. <laughs> yeah, well, things are going to work out with you guys, too. 
At least I didn't have to borrow a dress from the Buchanan girls this year. Rex got me the most gorgeous red dress I've ever seen. Invitations for two, you know. I'm not really up for partying right now, Michael. Hey, don't let Todd ruin this night, too. He got away with everything. I know, and I can't believe it. Star lied for him, Michael. After, she lied. After he told her that he was planning on kidnapping the baby. Poor kid. I mean, she's stuck with him for a father mm. for the rest of her life. And she must want to crawl into a cave and never come no, out. No, no, she cannot do that. Okay, but apparently you can. Things happen. They change people. And what what you went through made you grow up real fast. Too fast. I know. You're more mature than any of my other students. Translation, dork. <laughs> no. No, not, not to a teacher. I'm definitely different. I can't relate to any of the other kids now. Well, I think they have a lot of catching up to do. But I miss being one of them. I miss... I miss my friends. I feel like I'm losing all of them. Can't be that bad. My Can't. best... My best friend, Langston. I mean, she is my best friend. My, my aunt. She even adopted her after her parents died. She lives in my house. She's like my sister. We got in a huge fight after I lied on the stand. I'm... Oh. We loved each other. And now... It's different. Matthew, what are you doing? I got high. So what? S so what? What is coming into you're, you? You're coming with me. Come on. I'm really sorry. No, no, it it's okay, really. I don't I don't know why Matthew did that just now. I don't know why Matthew's doing anything that he's been doing recently. I, I just I don't even know Matthew anymore. It's throwing Bo and I for a loop, that's for sure. But that doesn't mean I don't know what's going on with you too. Natalie and I had this horrible fight. She uh she thinks I'm a danger to my own children. Your own sister said that? I don't blame her. Tess put her through hell. I, I put her through hell. Right. Okay, that's tough. But your husband got killed. I mean, you, you were losing it. Before that, you know, I was a good mom. I really was. And then I just let Tess come out. I wonder what my little girl... I wonder what my little girl thought when she looked at me. Listen. Tess was a good mother, too. Um, she was all about wanting to see her baby when she was in here. Yeah, I've been starting to have some Tess memories. Like what? Um, like, I remember being at the cottage in labor, and uh, there was this time at my Uncle Todd's. I remember that, too. That's good, right? Yeah. Dr. Levin says that I'm starting to become integrated. Well, your family's got to be glad. I haven't told them. I've only told you. Natalie's furious at me, and my mom is... She walks on eggshells every time she's around me, and... The only people that I can talk to are Dr. Levin and, uh, and you.